Hi welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video shows complete update compressor interview question 2022 which may be helpful for technician, diploma and B.Sc engineer. You can better learn after see this video tutorials. Let's start topics. Question number 01, what is air compressor? Answer. Air compressor, a machine, driven by any prime mover, which compresses air into a receiver to be used at a greater or shorter distance. Question number 02, what is air-cooled compressor? Answer. Air-cooled compressor, a compressor whose cylinder has cast integral numerous thin fins to form excess cooling surface exposed to a draft of cool air which forms the medium to carry off some of the heat of compression. Question number 03, what is axial compressor? Answer. Axial compressor, a multi-stage, high-efficiency compressor comprising alternate rows of moving and fixed blades attached to a rotor and its casing respectively. The flow of fluid is essentially parallel to the axis of the compressor. Question number 04, what is centrifugal compressor? Answer. Centrifugal compressor. A compressor designed to deliver large quantities of air or gas at low pressure, moved by centrifugal force generated by a fast revolving rotor. Question number 05. What is compression efficiency? Answer. Compression efficiency, ratio of the theoretical power required to compress the amount of air actually delivered to the actual power developed in the cylinder as shown by the indicator diagram. Question number 06. What is intercooler? Answer. Intercooler, a type of surface heat exchanger placed between two cylinders of a two-stage compressor so that heat of compression generated in the first stage cylinder may be removed, in part or whole, from the air as it passes through the intercooler to the second stage cylinder. Question number 07. What is mean effective pressure? Answer. Mean effective pressure, the average resultant pressure acting on the piston during the stroke that is the effective pressure which compresses and discharges the air. This is the difference between the mean forward pressure and the mean back pressure. Question number 8, difference between compression ratio and clearance ratio? Answer, clearance ratio. Clearance ratio is defined as the ratio of clearance volume to swept volume, or, stroke volume. C equals VC divided by versus where, versus is swept volume. VC is clearance volume compression ratio. Compression ratio is defined as the ratio between total volume and clearance volume. Compression ratio equals total volume by clearance volume. Question number 9. Define volumetric efficiency, mechanical efficiency and isentropic efficiency of the compressor? Answer. Volumetric efficiency. It is the ratio of actual volume of air drawn in the compressor to the stroke volume of the compressor. Mechanical efficiency. It is the ratio of indicated power to shaft power or brake power of motor. Isentropic efficiency, it is the ratio of the isentropic power to the brake power required to drive the compressor. Question number 10, what is the difference between complete, or, perfect intercooling and incomplete, or, imperfect intercooling? Answer. Perfect intercooling. When the temperature of air leaving the intercooler, T3, is equal to the original atmospheric air temperature, T1, then this intercooling is known as perfect intercooling. Imperfect intercooling. When the temperature of air leaving the intercooler, T3, is more than original atmospheric air temperature, T1, then this intercooling is known as imperfect intercooling. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, comment and subscribe the bell icon. And watching my video. Question number 11. What is meant by single-stage double-acting reciprocating compressor? Answer. In double-acting air compressor, air is admitted alternatively to both sides of the piston. When one side is performing the suction stroke, the other side will be performing compression and delivery of compressed air. Theoretically a double-acting compressor will deliver twice the amount of compressed air compared to a single-acting compressor of the same size and speed. Question number 12. Define volumetric efficiency and clearance ratio? Answer. 
Volumetric efficiency. Volumetric efficiency is defined as the ratio of volume of free air sucked into the compressor per cycle to the stroke volume of the cylinder. Clearance ratio. Clearance ratio is defined as the ration of clearance volume of swept volume, or, stroke volume. Question number 13. What is intercooler? What does complete intercooling mean? Answer. An intercooler is a simple heat exchanger. It exchanges the heat of compressed air from the low-pressure compressor to the circulating water before the air enters to the high-pressure compressor. The purpose of intercooling is to minimize the work of compression. If the air is cooled to temperature equal to the temperature of air at the inlet of the first stage cylinder, the intercooling is complete. Question number 14. Define stroke volume and cylinder volume? Answer. When a piston traverses one stroke and reaches BDC of TDC, the volume swept by the piston is called stroke volume of swept volume. The addition of stroke volume and clearance volume is called cylinder volume. Question number 15. Define positive displacement rotary compressor and dynamic displacement compressor? Answer. In positive displacement rotary type compressor the air is entrapped in between two sets of engaging surfaces. The pressure rises either by backflow of air or both by variation in the volume and backflow. In the dynamic type rotary compressors, the air is not trapped in specific boundaries but it flows continuously and steadily through the machine. The energy from the impeller is transferred to the air as the air flows through the machine and the pressure rise is primarily due to dynamic effects. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, comment and subscribe the bell icon. And watching my video. Question number 16. What are the use of compressed air? Answer. Compress air use following purpose. Drive pneumatic tools. Produce air for cleaning purpose in large industries. Operate brakes in heavy vehicles. To start large diesel engines. Spray painting. Refrigeration and air conditioning. Question number 17. What are the drawbacks in single-stage compression? Answer. The size of the cylinder will be too large. Due to compression, there will be a rise in temperature of air and it will be difficult to reject the heat in the little time available during compression. Sometime the high temperature at the end of compression may heat the cylinder head or burn the lubricating oil. Question number 18. What are the factors that affect the volumetric efficiency? Answer. The factors that affect the volumetric efficiency are Clearance volume pressure ratio temperature stroke volume wire drawing effect valve fluttering. Question number 19. Why clearance volume is necessary and explain its importance. Answer. In actual compressor, the clearance volume is provided to give cushioning effect otherwise the piston will strike the other end of the cylinder. It is generally expressed as percentage of piston displacement. Importance of clearance volume. To give cushioning effect to the piston. To provide space for valve movement. The maximum pressure may also be controlled by clearance volume. The volumetric efficiency and pressure ratio are depends up 09 and clearance volume. If clearance volume is more, it reduces. Question number 20. What are the factors that affect the power requirement of a compressor? Answer. The factors that affect the power requirement of a compressor are. The total pressure ratio of the compressor the total inlet temperature the total temperature difference between the inlet and outlet the clearance volume the mass flow rate of air. Welcome to my channel. Please like, share, comment and subscribe the bell icon. And watching my video.